But I like my man out of shape. If I see that you got too many muscles, I'm going to feel like you're trying to go to the gym to replace something downstairs that's not growing. I done seen it too many times. These men be trying to make up for what they ain't got downstairs at that gym. So if I see you doing too much at the gym, I'm going to feel like you're trying to replace that. I'm going to feel like you ain't got nothing going on downstairs. See, when you were dusty, when you weren't really confident in yourself, when you didn't really know what you wanted out of this life, nobody had a thing to say to you. Nobody was paying attention to you. But when you say, you know what? It's time for me to get in my bag. It's time for me to become that man that I always knew I was capable of. It's crazy how you will have a whole bunch of people start attacking you, shaming you, trying to downplay who you are. You wonder to yourself, like, instead of putting your time into attacking me, why don't you put in this energy into working on yourself? We got the same 24 hours in the day. And when I put my time into becoming my best self, you're over there sleeping. You're over there logging out. You're over there being lazy on yourself. So you want to try and shame me so you can feel good about yourself. When you're an attractive man, there will be some downsides. Now, I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. You know that this is what comes with it. When people are on the same timing as you, you know you are going to be shamed for it because you're taking the road less travel. You're actually putting in the hard blood, sweat, and tears into becoming that man who you were put here to be. So a lot of people, they won't be able to see this. When you get out of your comfort zone and you start leveling up in your life, a lot of these people, they're going to try to bring you down at the same level with them. They're going to try to take from your energy and put it towards theirs so they can feel better instead of going out and putting in the work themselves. A lot of people, they aren't willing to do what you do. They aren't willing to put in the work in the gym and get that physique that they wanted, just like you. They aren't willing to go hours and hours every day being asleep up in their car just from how hard they work because they got a family to feed or they got goals to achieve for their future or they have things that they want to do in their life. A lot of people, they aren't willing to do this. So as an attractive man, you were already blessed with the things that you got. You were already blessed. And that's why I'm trying to get y'all to realize this. Because there are different forms of hate that you will receive as an attractive man. There are a bunch of different things that you will go through starting off with women. Yeah, this can be a plus if you're an attractive man. You actually put in the work into yourself. But nowadays, you have a bunch of women who all they deal with is average men. All they deal with is men who are willing to kiss their toes. All they deal with is men who aren't putting in the work like you. So when they come across you, they won't know how to treat a man like you. And you'll be questioning to yourself. I'm putting all this work into myself. Why am I even giving this person my time? They'll be trying to play the same games with you that they play with these average dudes that they deal with on a daily basis. And that's why you would scare a lot of these women away because they are willing to put up with what it's like to deal with a king like you. They won't understand your value. Now, if they see the value in you, they're already going to give you that respect. And all you got to do is stand on it. All you got to do is stand on the man that you are. Don't let her try to change you and all these things that she will try to do to you because that's how she'll be playing with these beta cupcake dudes. She'll try to make you be the perfect man for her. And once you start doing it, watch how she loses interest. Watch how that box dries up like the Sahara Desert. When you start giving a woman what she wants as an attractive man, she's she going to throw you all of these tests because she had different perceptions about you in her head already made up. That's just the harsh truth. When people see you as an attractive man, they already have many different perceptions in their head made up about you. They see you look good. They automatically going to think that you got some money because you take care of yourself. You're doing things in your life. So obviously you look like you have something going for yourself because when they see these other dudes who aren't working on themselves, they just place them in the box with the rest of the dudes that they be dealing with. So when they see you and you know that you look different from the crowd, you can't let them change who you are. A lot of these girls, they're going to try to make you put the time into them, stop you from doing what you're doing. I've had this try and happen to me many times. Every time I'm on my grind, every time I'm on my way towards the finish line, it's like there's always going to be a woman placed in my life to be an obstacle. And the worst part about it is... Even the free ones will cost you the most. Even the ones that's not asking for no money or none of that. She just wants your time and your energy. This is the biggest thing that you can give up to a woman. More than some money. At least if you give her some money, you got what you wanted and you send her back to wherever she came from. But when she wants your time and your energy, this is stopping you from reaching your true potential. So if you put that into an average woman or you don't even see any value in having her in your life, you're going to watch how she brings you down. All these women deal with on a daily basis is chaos. Wherever they go to work, college classes, where, where they go outside. All they deal with is chaos. They can say they have a false sense of unlimited options because nowadays there are a lot of men, like I said, that aren't on the same timing as you. So what they're going to do is give up their free validation to a woman. They're going to be running after, oh, can I have your number? Oh, how you doing, beautiful? All this, all this stuff that you ain't even got to do. They're going to be chasing after her. So they're boosting her head up. They're having her think that she's five star. So when she meets a dude like you, who's actually a king, who actually put in the work into himself, she's going to think that she can try and get over on you. That's why these women, they're going to try and make you jump over all these hoops and hurdles just to validate them. But you're an attractive man. You know you ain't got to tolerate the games. You know you ain't got to tolerate 
her doing the same things to you and wasting your time like how she does with these other guys. They're going to try and stop you from reaching your true potential. They're going to be a distraction to you. And they're going to try and treat you like these dudes. And it's crazy because it's like all this grind that I done put in. Get into this bag. Getting my body together. Going on that diet. Getting out there. Putting myself out there. Boosting my confidence up. Leveling up in every aspect in my life. And a woman, she's still not going to be able to truly see this. If she doesn't value you and respect you. So don't deal with these women that's trying to disrespect you. And just try to do all types of things to you to boost their ego. Now the other thing that will happen to you as an attractive man is it will be hard to keep friends. Now I can speak mostly for myself. But I know since I have an audience now there's a bunch of people who relate to what I'm talking about. As an attractive man bro or as a man who's working on becoming his best self. It will be hard to keep friends. Because a lot of people they're not on the same time as you. A lot of people they don't have the same goals as you. These people nowadays they just want to party. They just want to talk about the latest things happening on social media. But they're not trying to talk about nothing real. It's like everybody, they have a mask on nowadays. It's not real. There's no genuine relationships. Those long-term relationships, you notice, you only have them if you already knew somebody from like elementary, middle school, high school. And those are going to be your closest friends. But it's very hard to come across people that is going to be in your life long-term. Unless you're following your path and you meet people down the way, it's going to be very hard for you to find people who can be long-term companions, who you can really count on to be your ride or die. If you don't already have that social group set up, it's going to be hard for you to be able to start picking this up when you're a man who's working on yourself. Because you can't settle for just anybody coming into your pack. You can't settle for dudes who are lazy to be in your friend group because that's also going to sabotage everything you got going on. They're going to be trying to party. They're going to be trying to drink. They're going to be trying to do all these things that's help, not helping you go nowhere in the future. Every time you try to do something, you got to clock in the next day. You got to go to work. You got to get your bread up. You got to be in the gym in the morning. You, you're doing something the next day. They'll be like, oh, man, look at this lame man, dude, bro. You always got to do something, bro. All right, bro. Go ahead, bro. They're not going to believe in your visions. That's why you can't tell anybody what you're doing in this life. You just got to let your action show. Because once you start telling people stuff, you're going to see how you start slowing down with it. You're going to see how they're going to start discouraging you from it. Because a lot of people, they're not willing to take the road less traveled like you. You see your life on a whole different level. You have different dreams and visions for your life. So if you allow people who aren't on the same time as this, they're going to bring you down. And it's like you low-key going to be a threat to them because when they see you come around and they with their girl, they know you have the potential to take their girl. And that's why most of us attractive men get into bad situations out here with dudes who girls be choosing up on us. It's not our fault. Now, I'm not saying you got to be an ill man and try and take a girl from your man's. But if you're just in acquaintance with somebody and you just know them, but they bring their girl around you and their girl start choosing up on you, now you're the one that's going to get in trouble because hypergamy is already in their nature. Trust me, when a girl looks at a man's friend group and they got the wrong one, they're going to start to notice like, damn, I made the wrong decision. Where's the, where's the attractive looking homie? Who's the leader of the group? Who's the one that's actually the boss, that's actually the general, that's actually running stuff? Was she with the store runner dude or she with the dude who's really like, eh, like he's not putting in no work for real. He's just like doing the bare minimum for her. When she started looking at you and you look different, you got your muscles popping out, you, your body looking good, smelling good, you, your face looking handsome. Bro, she's going to start getting curious. She's going to start trying and choosing up on you. You're going to notice them choosing signals. And it's kind of like, eh, I don't want to do that. Now, if you want to be toxic like that, if you don't really know dude, then do what you got to do. But it's like, bro, I'm not even trying to get into all that mess. I'm not even trying to do that with you. You feel me? It's cool. That's why these dudes see you as a threat. Because you shine their insecurities at them. So when you come around that girl and she looking at you a little too hard, then they're going to get jealous. That's the thing that happens with most of these dudes. They get jealous. So when you try to have average dudes in your friend group or dudes who ain't really putting in the work into themselves in your friend group, they're going to low-key be jealous of you. You low-key going to feel a little bit of animosity. Because it's like, damn. You looking good. You outshining them. Now, if it's a genuine homie, they won't feel this towards you because y'all can help each other go up. But if it's somebody that you don't really know like that or you just met them in like the last few years, then trust me, they're going to feel this about you, bro. That's why majority of the time, the best friendship to have is with the dude who you already can tell can get their own women. Not the dudes that's pillow talking on you every time you get in front of them and they got their girl or something or it's a bunch of girls around you. Now they want to become Chester the Clown. Now they now they want to start trying to play fight with you and all this stuff, trying to show that they're stronger than you. Now they want to put you in a chokehold and all this stuff in front of the hoes. Come on now. That is the worst friend that you have, should have in your circle. And that's how majority of dudes are nowadays because a lot of them, they're not getting played. So when they get in front of a woman, and they with you and you look better than them now 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 everything's funny 
Now they want to try and laugh her out of draws. They're kind of going to try and one up you. See, it's like a lion seeing a tiger. Y'all don't know what y'all be eating. It's like y'all see each other, y'all kind of going to be like enemies. Y'all kind of going to be like side eyeing each other. It's going to be like waiting for one person to slip up so the other can attack. But when a lion sees another lion, we know what food we like. We know what we grinding for. But y'all not still from the same pack. So it's kind of going to be like, okay, at any point, we can still be enemies. But we all know the food we got to get out here and strive for. So that's why it's going to be hard for you to keep a lot of friends. A lot of people are fake nowadays. So if they come into your life, you know you got a good heart. You know you got a good head on your shoulders. You know you're striving towards better things in your life. They're going to try and bring this down if they're not really for you. The other thing that you experience is people will treat you differently. When people see you, bro, and you really working on yourself, you really becoming that man that you want to be, you look different from these people, bro. You know you look different from the people that you can tell are just NPCs. Just look at all these people on the freeway. 95% of those people are NPCs. And those 5% are actually doing things in their life. They're not doing things in life that you're doing. You're working on your own thing. Even if you work, you're putting it towards your own thing. You're getting out of your comfort zone. You're working on your body. You got your style looking different from everybody else. You're not bland. So when you go out, people look at you like, who's that dude? He's smelling good. Who is that? You don't look like everybody else. When you walk into rooms, you're just going to feel people staring at you. They're going to be feeling the presence of your aura because your light is different from everybody else's when you put the work into yourself. When you realize your value, you start realizing who you truly are deep down inside and you bring this out of you. People, they don't realize this. So you're going to bring that different aura when you step into rooms, whether it's good or bad. Because in some of these places that you'll be in in your life, you weren't meant to be there. They were just put there as a stepping stone to get you to where you really need to be. I know in most of the jobs I didn't have, it didn't look like I was supposed to be there, bro. Let's just be honest. It didn't look like I was supposed to be there, bro. I've had people even tell me this. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. I know y'all have had people look at you and it's like you're not even supposed to be there. But you just there trying to stack your bread up. you just there temporarily so you can put this bread into what you need to do to level up in your life. So when you get looked at in these places, people, they're automatically going to recognize like, yo, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be doing bigger and better things. And this can be a bad thing when you're working with miserable people. When you're working with miserable bosses, you're going to see how they try and drain your energy. By the end of the day, you come home. All you can do is just crash in the bed and go to sleep. You don't even have the time into putting your own thing. Because they're going to try and overwork you so much. You got other people standing around, talking to each other, lollygagging, doing things slow. And you come there just for your bread because you know you're trying to put this into something else. You know you're trying to go to different levels. And they're going to try and stop you from this. So they're going to try and make you work the hardest. They're going to be watching your every move. As much as you may not think about it, you're getting paid attention to more than you realize. When you step out, you are getting paid attention to more than you realize. So they're going to be paying attention to your every move, every slip up you make. So they can try and tear you down. They don't feel right in themselves. So they have to try and bring you down to please whatever intentions they have inside. I'm a person who is really to myself. Because I notice the more I try in people, they start bringing out their true intentions. You start trying to put your trust in certain people and watch how they will tear you down. They're going to come into your kingdom and try and sabotage everything you got going on. Because they see that you're looking good. They see that you're going up in your life. They see that you're doing better things in your life. So they will try and tear you down. A lot of these people, they can't look in the mirror and love themselves. Especially with us attractive men today, bro. A lot of people, they will call you sassy. This is the biggest thing that us men go through that put in the work into ourselves. When we want to look good, we want to smell good. We got our body looking right. Our shirts actually fit our body and pop out our muscles. People's going to be like, why are you so worried about yourself? Like, ain't you supposed to have dirty nails? Ain't you supposed to be musty a little bit? Like, like be a man. Like, why are you looking so good? And this is a shaming tactic that they will try and use on you. Because you know the man that you are. You know if you're a man out there who actually gets women, who actually gets play, who's actually interacting with women, they will still try and accuse you of being a ditty. They will still try and accuse you. And it's like, so because you stink, because you don't take care of yourself, you want to shame me because I look good, because I take care of myself. I got myself looking clean. You want to shame me for it. Okay, just charge it to the game. Because a lot of these people, they won't know what it's like to be in your shoes. So they can say whatever they want about you. Okay, you know what you want in your life. So if you try and get people out your life who don't deserve you, they're also going to call you sassy for it, especially these women. That's all they got to say. That's all their defense. They either say you got a little Johnson or you sassy because you're not tolerating the BS in your life. You know you look good, so you know you can have other options. You know you can get better options. So they will try and try and shame you for it. Just charge it to the game. You know what you like. You know what you're doing in your life. So none of this can get through you. None of this can harm you as a man who knows who you are. So there is a bunch of different forms of hate that you will receive as an attractive man that I will get more in depth into 
in later videos. But these are really some of the main things that you would experience. You know the potential you have in your life to be great. Nobody is willing to be in your shoes. Everything that you've been through that's made you become the man that you are today, nobody's going to understand this. No matter how much you try to explain it to them. Don't explain yourself to nobody out here. Don't try and change yourself for nobody out here when you see your life going to be in a whole different level. Start appreciating the haters in your life because without them, you wouldn't really go as hard as you need to. Haters prove you're going in the right direction because they were nowhere to be found when you was dusty, crusty, and musty. When you didn't know what you want, they was nowhere to be found. Now when you're doing better things in your life, now when you got your bag up, now when you're looking good, smelling good, feeling right, now they got something to say, please y'all, <laughs> keep being your best self.